Do you need help defeating your backlog of games that you start and don't finish and then all the games that you buy and never start because you have to finish the other games? But then maybe you start a new game and then you're like, oh, I'm going to play this game and then you drop that game because another game comes out. That's a pattern that I've started. And I'm very, very blessed to be an adult who can buy as many games as I want because growing up, I only played one game on my Game Boy for a very long time and that was Harvest Moon Friends Mineral Town. And now I'm older and I can buy whatever games I want pretty much and I have a problem. So I really want to work on defeating my backlog. <laughs> So we're gonna do a step-by-step -step guide. So get a notebook or a piece of paper. You need a little pen. And we're gonna do this together. I mean, I've already done it, but you're gonna do it with me if you want to. Also, feel free to join my Discord community in the description below. I have a Discord where we all chat about cozy games and stuff and you can see when I'm live streaming and all sorts of stuff like that, but it would be really fun to talk about our backlogs and how we defeat them. I'm gonna start doing this over the holidays. I already started it by finishing the storyline of Fay Farm, which I was really happy about. All it took for me was just to pick up the game and play it. It felt good to do that. And I want to do that with a lot of other games. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to write down all of the games that you started and haven't finished and make sure you indicate if you want to get back to them or not. Some games you might start and they don't really have a finish. They don't really have a storyline that you want to go through. Other games you're going to have to list, okay, what are the goals that I want to accomplish with these games? But the first step is just to list down what games you want to complete. For me, I have Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life, Sunhaven, Roots of Pacha, Coral Island, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Moonstone Island, Wildflowers, Pixel Cafe, Would You Like Story, While the Iron's Hot, David Diver, Potion Ferment, Fair Tea, Coffee Talk, one. So there are so many, there are so many, and hopefully you don't have this many, but I do. Writing it out though helps me realize, okay, there is a lot of games, but it's not as bad as it feels. So then I'm gonna go through and write down my goal next to the games. So I wrote down for Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life is to finish the main story. Same for Sunhaven, finish the main story. For Roots of Pacha, I want to get married and have a baby. And I want to, I want to finish the raising the tears of that thing in the jungle. I forget what it's called right now, but I want to finish that part. Coral Island, I want to do the diving quests. I want to do marriage. I just want to play the game more. Tears of the Kingdom, I just want to do the main story of the game. I haven't gotten far in that one at all. Moonstone Island, I want to capture all of the spirits, one of each, and I want to finish more of the dungeons and just kind of go exploring more. I don't care so much about the marriage in that game. I feel like the relationships, they aren't like a huge part of that game for me. Um, but they might be for you. Wildflowers, main storyline. Pixel Cafe, I need to do the grandma storyline or whatever. Witchy Life Story, I need to do the main story of. I just need to finish that one. I need to look up how long it is to be. Um, Dave the Diver, I'm not sure I want to go back to that one. So I kind of wrote, eh, eh. How do you say that out loud? I can't say that out loud. I can only say it in my head. But I just wrote like, eh, next to it. And then Potion Permit, I'm not sure I want to get back to that one soon, but I do want to finish the main storyline because I do like how relaxing that game is. Spirit Tea, um, I need to figure out what goals I have for that game. And then Coffee Talk 1, obviously that one's just finishing the main story so I can start the next game. Now next, what you will do is after you identify what goals you want for each game. You need to go through and highlight in different colors or bullet point in a color next to it which ones you're closer to finishing and then determine what order you want to start with. So let's go ahead and do that. So you need to figure out which ones are you close to finishing, which ones are going to be easier to finish, maybe they're shorter games. So I narrowed mine down to the 10 I would most like to play and I also ordered it by like I'm closer to finishing shorter games things like that. So for me Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life is at the top because I'm really close to finishing that. I just kind of have to run through and see the rest of the story and then Pixel Cafe I'm also very close to being done that. 
And then Wildflowers, I don't know if I'm close to being done with it, but I'm enjoying that game. I want to play it more. I want to just finish that one. And while the iron's hot, I'm also enjoying playing that one. That is a newer one that I started, which I probably shouldn't have started until I finished stuff. But I did get a review code for that one, so I wanted to prioritize it. And I actually am really enjoying the game. Spoiler. Um, five is Roots of Pacha, and six is Sunhaven, seven, Moonstone Island. I just kind of want to progress more in those games. Um, Witchy Life Story is number nine, which maybe now I'm looking at it, I might want to bump up on the list because that might be... A little bit less time consuming than the other games in front of it and then 10 is Zelda Tears of the Kingdom I kind of want to wait until I go on vacation this summer to start that one again um, so always remember that like you know games are always gonna be there you can always go back to them and you don't need to rush it I played Breath of the Wild so late to the game and then I stopped it for a while and then I went back and finished it later. So it's okay to do that. Don't feel bad. I know it's hard and I know I feel bad when I don't finish games because I was a gamer who always finished games. Yeah. So then after you make this, um, these two lists, then what you're gonna do is make some rules for yourself. So for me, I need to make a rule that I'm not buying any more games until I finish one um, because I just bought some more games during the Steam Winter Sale. Yeah. And that brings up another point. I didn't include any games on this list that I own but haven't started yet because I think that would make this way more overwhelming than it needs to be. So I'm just kind of holding off on those. So rule number one is no buying new games until I finish one. And same thing, no starting a new game until I at least finish one. So it's not too tough. It still gives me the option and maybe a little bit of motivation to finish a game before I buy one or start a new one. So yeah, write as many rules for yourself as you want, but try not to make them too difficult or too, you know, strict. Like don't make it, I have to finish all of them. I have to finish every game in my backlog before I start a new one. You can do that if you want to, but I feel like that's a little too restrictive for me, especially because I do make content on the games that I play. I want to be able to play new games. Um, I want to be able to, you know, start new games and, and stuff like that, stream them and all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's how I am working on defeating my backlog starting this holiday season because I actually have some time off work. Another thing you might wanna do, sorry I'm adding more stops, pick a time of day that you can most likely play the game. For me, it's bedtime. Um, I have a Steam Deck so I can play in bed. Um, and there's just list a few times that you can actually set time aside to do this stuff. I know it's different for everybody because some people, you know, you might be a mom or you might be a dad, um, just a parent that's really busy and you don't have a ton of time. You might be working crazy hours, stuff like that. So it can be really hard. So try to just write down certain times a day or days of the week that you might actually be able to prioritize yourself in getting these games played. So yeah. So that is my little step-by-step -step fun little guide to defeating your backlog. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much to the members of my channel for being members. It helps me out so much. And if you like my videos, please consider watching another one right here. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!